Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. Of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number two. Power of number 11. And number four. It looks like we're going to the number 17. 17 in tarot is the star card. Maybe some of you Scorpios are already an established celebrity, or you could have a celebrity spying in on you. However, the star card is about healing, cleansing, renewal, reconciliation, celestial type of energies or celestial type of connections. This can also talk about your trusted ancestors, also too on the other side. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. Others of you are dealing with a Scorpio or possibly a Sagittarius born in the month of November. And yes, a lot of you Scorpios were born at the latter part of October. That is true. You could also be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Others of you could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. Picking up on Capricorn and Aquarius energy born in the month of January. Also Libra energy coming in through the power of number 11. More Pisces energy through the number 12. Sagittarius energy coming in again through the number 14 and more Aquarius energy through the number 17. Some of you are 21, 24, and or 27 years of age. Others of you could be 41, 42, and or possibly 47 years old. You could have been born in 1971, 1972, and or possibly 1974. So either way, Scorpio, we're going to go to the power of number 17. Messages from your specific person. And 17. Trusted ancestors on my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Show me what's up, what's going on. The Six of Wands, there's some kind of good news that's coming in. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You may get some information through the grapevine. You may get some information through the grapevine, maybe through this person's friends or family members. Um, you may see something on social media that could possibly delight you in regards to this person. Mm, they're coming in with some kind of a love offer. The Knight of Cups, you could also be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Mm, a token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture, the page of coins. They definitely may reach out with a simple phone call, text message, DM, uh, instant messenger type of thing, um, wanting to take you out. But they're coming in like Mr. or Ms. Casanova. So they're in their feelings right now. Their energy is shifting. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. Mm. Looks like they want to take a short sabbatical with you, the Four of Swords. They've had enough time out to think about this connection and where it is that they see this connection going. Some of them could have recently lost a loved one. Some of you Scorpios are into Reiki or you do Reiki. See the healing hands. be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. 
They're getting out of a stuck position. And they're coming forward. can have a higher level social status or positioning. Um, they could also be very popular in and among their peers, or maybe you are Scorpio. Mm -hmm. They're still attracted to you. Mm -hmm. They may get tailwind that something is like exciting, like exciting news for you may be happening. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Spirit's telling me that they did not feel like a sense of completion in their life. They didn't feel complete or whole. And even though they were in your presence, Scorpio, it's like something wasn't enough. And that doesn't mean that you weren't good enough or that you didn't have enough to offer. This was something within their soul that they didn't feel like they didn't feel like they were balanced. So it was just easier to let you go and get distracted again by third party situations. I replay our conversations over and over again. So they're scrolling through old messages. They might have even sent you a message that you never responded to. Just being near you is intoxicating. So they're obsessed with your energy and they could also be spying in on your energy, Scorpio. They're willing to go the distance and put in the work. See, this is about a sense of completion. This particular eight of pentacles means that the job is done or they do feel a sense of completion. Flat out, black and white, nothing more, nothing less. And that's just what I just said. They didn't feel at that moment in time with you like they felt balanced or that something with inside of them was complete or fixed or whole or whatever. So they were having this gap. There was like a gap of energy going on in their body. And I think that that also triggered them to start overthinking, overthinking their actions and just overthinking the connection. The high priestess. Yeah. I secretly feel that they are watching or spying in on you, or they have something with inside of them that they want to share. They were overwhelmed, distracted before in the past. And when they come forward, it may make you feel overwhelmed. But they're ready to close out a cycle, Scorpio. Got the world card. So endings to old karmic patterns and cycles. So then a new phase and new beginning can happen. In the past, they were juggling you and something or someone else, or they were juggling their finances. Some of them didn't want to let you know that they were really battling with their financial structure. So that some of them might have felt like they didn't have enough to provide for you, Scorpio, but they're ready. They're ready to come together. Some of you will be going into union in the next two days or during Leo season or Cancerian season or within the next 60 days. This person's still in love with you.
they feel like they need alone time. They need alone time with you just to be in your presence and to rekindle. No matter who I am with, my thoughts always lead me back to you. But they got an ending coming to that third party because the world card is here. I have to deal with my pain to be able to open my heart to love again. And I feel like this is more or less them in the past not feeling that sense of completion with inside of them in order to be able to provide on a greater scale. So they weren't feeling very worthy. That's what I'm picking up on. I do love you. Just don't know how to show you right now. But they are planning. They are planning to come forward. I have two communicator cards. We have the Knight of Cups and also the Page of Pentacles. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions, but I love you more than you think. So even if they're with the third party, they're only thinking about you, Scorpio. Bottom line. So we're going to leave the energy like this for the moment. They're planning. They're feeling good about themselves. Gearing up to come forward, which means they're going to close out that cycle. Or the karmic may close out the cycle with them could go either way. It's better for them to have a true wake up call to what the connection between you and them really means to them and to have that full understanding. And you may be thinking like, well, are they going to have that full understanding? Yes. Because if they're feeling like you're number one, Scorpio, then they're going to have to explain to you why. Why in that moment in time that's coming up, why do they feel that they need to be back with you. And what does it mean for them? So, my awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. And my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a June reading special, four questions for $25. So if you like to get on my current recording schedule, Victoria will send you the proper email to uh, book that reading and also how to pay for your reading. But in the meantime, if you like this content, Scorpio, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.